Damon, uh, everyone on standby there for what potentially could have been very bad here. Everyone that lives in our area that lived through Katrina, Ivan, and uh, even Gustav, we we know what that's like, so it's better to be prepared and nothing happened, right? Right, and, and props to the first responders preparing everybody and getting ready for these kind of storms because it is it pays off in the end, definitely. Yeah, and you were here all night? That's right. We were keeping everybody informed the best we could on the storm as it moved through. It's calmer tonight, thankfully, as we look out on our Alpha Insurance Sky Cam across the Queen City. The clouds are still hanging around, but for the most part, again, it has been a calm day for us here. A few pieces of sunshine as we made our way towards sunset this evening. And with the clouds around, we did warm up to 85 degrees. That's still a little bit above our normal. We stayed relatively cooler today through the afternoon, but we started out at 75, a half well above our normal, thanks to, again, the tropical air mass that's been in place behind Nate still. And we saw about a half an inch of rain overnight and into the morning hours with the system as it moved through again last night and got out of our way again by the morning hours. So the Pine Electric Radar, it is a clean sweep tonight. We are picking up on all the moisture that is at the surface right now, but again, clouds are still out there for us. That will break up just a tad as we go through the night tonight. It will clear up just a bit, but building back in as we go into our Monday. Rain totals again for the last 24 hours. This doesn't account for some of the rain that fell early in the evening hours yesterday. But we saw again about a half an inch of rain here in Meridian and you can still see those heavier amounts pretty much into portions of West and Central Alabama. That's where most of the heavy rainfall with Nate was consolidated as we went through the night last night. And there again, there's Nate pushing off again to the northeast. Still some cloud cover and rainfall stretching into the Carolinas. But for us here in the Twin States, things have cleared out. No rainfall to speak of tonight. Temperatures again still in the upper to middle 70s. You go off towards the northwest. Louisville 72, Philadelphia 74. But for those of us farther south, still in those upper 70s. And it is muggy out there. Again, that tropical air mass has not moved very much. We are in the middle to lower 70s with these dew points. So again, you're going to really feel it as you go out there tonight. We saw all the winds last night. It has calmed down considerably. Calm winds for many of us, about a five mile an hour wind here in Meridian. So definitely a change of pace from when Nate moved through last night. And the temperatures across the southeast, again, still very warm in the upper to middle 70s across the stretch of the southeast and those dew points as well, still in those upper 70s in New Orleans at 77 to the middle and lower 70s stretching everywhere else. So we're still in that tropical air mass that'll change though as we go into the middle parts of the week. So we go through the next couple of days here starting your work week off clouds build back in tomorrow morning. We have the chance for scattered thunderstorms with the heat of the day again since it, we still have that air mass in place through the evening hours and then Tuesday even more widespread coverage even starting around 11 a.m. and hanging through the afternoon hours for us on our Tuesday. So we'll have rain for the next couple of days thanks to this air mass being in place, but we'll dry it out on Wednesday. So tonight, 73 patchy fog possible with how uh, humid it is out there with all the moisture and lows still well above average in the lower 70s. Tomorrow warming up to 87 with those scattered storms around still warm, still very muggy for us out there. And by the time we reach then into our Wednesday and Thursday, a front moves through. It's not going to drop our temperatures. We're still in the middle to upper 80s during the day, dropping into the lower 60s at night, but we do dry it out and we start to feel less humid as we go into the late week and next weekend. So after all the tropical feel to the air, we're going to kick all of that out by the next weekend. Have you ever felt a tropical feel? I know you're from Pennsylvania. It's been, uh, I have, this was one of the first times I've ever felt one, and it's interesting for say the least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Certainly. Yes. I was just curious. It, yes. Yeah, humidity. Woo. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks a whole lot, Damon.